Hi everybody, this is Kent from Man About Tools. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here on Vancouver Island and we're gonna go look for chanterelle mushrooms. Yay! Hands on the wheel, Marilyn. <laughs> So we've both been picking mushrooms for years and we have one rule. If you can't identify it, it's poison. So do your homework, go out with someone else who knows mushrooms in your area and don't eat anything you don't know. It's just above freezing and there's quite a bit of rain recently. Waterproof, breathable hiking gear and rubber boots are a must. We are looking specifically for winter chanterelle mushrooms here on the west coast. They like to grow in mossy, dark areas with a lot of rotting trees. The summer has been very dry this year, so we're not sure if we're too early to find any. We bring a small bucket and knife with us to cut and collect them. We think foraging for wild food is part of becoming more resilient and self-sufficient. It's something we can do together, and we like to get out in the woods whenever we can. Right there, look at these under here. But there's just a lot more mushroom activity. Those are the rustalos, and all these little guys here. The white one, there's a lot more mushrooms. Like this area is just really rich with them. We did find a lot of mushrooms in general on this first outing, so that was a good sign that we might find chanterelles. We only pick what we know to be edible. And although these look beautiful, we leave them right where they are. Finally, we spotted a little cluster of winter chanterelles. They have a distinctive shape and color, and once you know what to look for, they really stand out. They are delicate and usually come out quite clean. It was our first find of the day, and Marilyn had to dig a bit to get them out. When you've been searching all day, you don't want to leave any behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's another small cluster of two. This first day didn't yield much, but we figured it was early yet. Perfect. Perfect little guys. We came back the next weekend and did better. We started finding bigger mushrooms and in bigger clusters. How'd you do there? Good. Yeah, really good. So far, like just within minutes, we've got, we've got enough to toast up. Some of the distinguishing features of this mushroom are its dimpled cap, its bright yellow stem that is often wrinkled, and the spore surface that's a vein-like structure under the cap that blends into the hollow stem. We have several books in our home library on wild mushroom foraging, so I'll drop a link to those in the comments below. Beauties. I think I'm gonna just see if I can't pull. Look at that. It gets dark pretty quick in the late afternoon, so I'm glad I brought a light for the camera. That's a beautiful little shelf of them, hey? Look at those little beauties. Oh my goodness. 
we eat tonight. Sometimes it's hard to pull them out because they've got moss and sticks attached to them. <laughs> nice. That was beautiful. Look at that. In our area, these wild mushrooms are called the winter chanterelle, but they can also be referred to as the yellowfoot or the funnel chanterelle. We pronounce it chanterelle, but it's probably more accurate to say chanterelle. I like to get as close to the bottom as I can to get as much as I can. It was a little bit wet, but we're going to take it anyway. It's a little soggy. That's all right. How'd you do out there? I found a few here and there. Um, oh, that's nice. A couple little clusters. Nothing, nothing big like our first batch, though. Look at that. Fun. Wow. The moss just kind of freezes over them and protects them. That little cave of goodness. <laughs> Pull the whole bunch? Yeah. Alright, let's have a look at those. As you can probably tell, Marilyn's pretty enthusiastic about picking wild mushrooms and she will keep going until her hands freeze. I can't actually feel anymore. My hands are numb, so... <laughs> That's how you know when you're done, eh? Yeah. My hands are numb. There's enough in the bucket for a yeah. sandwich. <laughs> Who's gonna get the sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> nice work. That's good. Look at that. The following weekend was the best. We found the biggest clusters. Nice. They've got a nice sweet aroma. Beauty. Okay, let's find more of those. I like that when they're dry and clean. You might be able to hear some gunfire in the background. The area where we were picking mushrooms is near a practice range. Look at that. Yeah. What a right. beauty. Doesn't get better than that. Well, and then there's this. <laughs> Look at that. And then all the searching paid off. It seemed like we found the mother load. In just one area, we found many, many clusters of chanterelles. This is when it gets to be really fun and you fill your bucket quite quickly. How excited are you about that bundle? Oh my gosh, look at that. I love it. Look at this. They're everywhere. Nice. It's just like everywhere I turn around here, there's some. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> everybody, look, there's one more. <laughs> yeah. Look at this one. Just come around here and see. Wow. Look at that little sneaky beauty. Oh, that's a really nice specimen, eh? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Bright. 
firm. Those are gorgeous. They don't, yeah, they're, they're, they don't get better than that. Bright and orange and that's pretty dang good. Holy cow. Sweet. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at those. They're tiny, but they're still going to be really tasty. Their flavor is so huge. Look at you, my friend. Oh, that's big. Yeah. And it's in good shape too, which is even better. needles but add flavor <laughs> sure you know it's really hard to not get excited about these because we know how delicious they are that finding them is quite a quite a sweet thing on this boxing day Beautiful. Don't move. <laughs> I can't even move. There's so many around me. <laughs> wow. Nice. Wow. Those are very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't not take them yeah. and just walk away. <laughs> right? Yeah. Pretty sweet. Very sweet. That's quite this. a bucket you have there now. That's beautiful. Look at these gorgeous things. I'm going to be making a mushroom tarts with these winter chanterelles that we picked. I'm pretty excited. Um, they've lasted pretty good out in the woodshed. And what I'm doing right now is just getting all the needles off and the little bits of uh, moss and dirt. I prefer not to wash them because they are so porous and they get more spongy. And they're already pretty clean. I use this little paintbrush, I clip the ends off to make it firm. I'm just, I open some of these up to see if there's needles down there, if they've got fairly big holes. Just cutting off some of the dirty bottoms. So when these are all cleaned up, they will get fried with an onion and maybe put in some puff pastry.
A tablespoon per pocket. I think that's probably pretty good. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, dig in. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see on our channel, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already.